Is there, yeah, it looks good. Well, what's the weather going to be like for them this weekend? Because, of course, it's outdoors. So many events are yes, outdoors Yes, absolutely. Now. Yeah, this weekend, a little bit uh, windy on Saturday, but the wind should die down on Sunday. And both days, the risk of the odd shower. But let's take a look at your pictures. Gillian Richard photographed the large waves at Lulworth Cove. James West took this shot at a butterfly here on Martin Down in Hampshire. And here's Wilton Windmill under blue skies, captured by Ken Rayner. We had some lovely sunny spells today. Patchy cloud did build in a few places, but temperatures were up to just above their seasonal average, 22, 23 degrees for inland areas. Here are some apples in the sunshine in Hampshire under blue skies. A lovely picture captured by one of our weather watchers. Tomorrow we are looking at some very gusty winds, so quite strong south to southwesterly winds with possible showers. And with those showers, there could even be the old rumble of thunder. Now overnight tonight, there is the risk also of some sharp showers, particularly for western areas. There could be some thunder and lightning. Elsewhere it should remain mainly dry but we are looking at increasing winds during the night. These black circles are the wind gusts, a potential gust of 50 miles per hour for southwestern areas and that's where we'll see the strongest of the winds through the morning tomorrow and through the day. So there is a Met Office wind warning in force through the day tomorrow from four o'clock in the morning until six o'clock in the afternoon. A few scattered showers dotted about, some sunny spells as well and those showers could be heavy enough to produce some hail and thunder in a few places. Even even the odd lightning strike. So wind gusts tomorrow ranging between 45 and 55 miles per hour. That's for inland areas. Along exposed coastal areas, we could see a wind gust of up to 60 miles per hour. So on the inshore waters tomorrow, the winds are southwesterly, five to seven. The sea state is moderate or rough. So along coastal areas with the high tides at the moment, there could be some overtopping. So we may see some large waves which may cause some coastal flooding in a few places. And the visibility tomorrow is good. That's from Selseybill to Lyme Regis. Tomorrow night, still the risk we could have the odd sharp shower. The winds will remain fairly strong, not as strong as tomorrow daytime. We could see wind gusts of up to 40 miles per hour. Temperatures tomorrow night down to around 13 to 16 Celsius. Looking ahead to Saturday, Saturday won't be as windy as tomorrow, but still wind gusts of up to 40 miles per hour from the southwest and a few showers scattered around with some sunny spells as well. So as we look ahead to the rest of the week, the second part of the weekend, Sunday, the winds will be a lot lighter. And over the weekend in general, there is a chance of we could have the odd scattered shower here and there. And next week stays fairly unsettled. Sally. Alexis, thanks very much for that. Um, we've got more for you, of course, 10.30 tonight. Tomorrow, now something a bit special for you, because we have an incredible story of Glenn Wickham. He's a BMX racer who suffered a terrible brain injury. He's battled back to health to gain a first-class degree and pursue his dream of designing his own bike. Be with us for that tomorrow at half past six. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Good night. That sounds really good.